Hey there, Coach Jay Heiler here. I'm gonna show you how to do foam rolling for the quadricep. Now, basically the reason we're gonna do this is to open up the quad, increase mobility, increase flexibility, and overall range of motion. Now, how do you do the rolling, right? Well, first and foremost, you gotta figure out what tool you're gonna use. This is just a regular foam roller. Okay, smaller one, of course they have longer ones. I prefer the smaller because it's more functional. It can move with you. It's easier to navigate. But you also have the rumble roller and that's the one with those really big square divots. And all that does is it increases the intensity of that deep tissue massage, releasing all of that gook in the muscle that you're trying to release, okay? Now, the key is how far you roll. Okay, and also the pace that you're rolling in. So we're talking about the tempo here, the speed at which you move, and then of course, how many repetitions. So the first thing is, let's display how far we're gonna roll. We're gonna roll from just above the knee all the way up to that crease of your leg. So if you do a 90 degree bend here at your leg, this crease point here that is right in your psoas, um, and also your iliac crest area where the quadricep finishes and inserts. This right here is the point that you're gonna roll to. Another way to think of it is just below the pelvic floor. You're gonna roll just below the pelvic floor, okay? Now, with all of that being said, I'm gonna show you how it actually looks. So the first thing is if you're rolling with your right leg, okay, you're going to have the longer side on the outside of your body. You're going to place it down and right at the end of the cylinder, so if you think, say about here, right at the end is where you're gonna place your quadricep. Put my quadricep down here and I'm literally going to again roll just below the pelvic floor and then all the way to just above the knee, about there, okay? And then I'm slowly going to return. Now, up and down makes one repetition. Keep in mind, when you are foam rolling, the more weight that you put into the foam roller, the more intensity you're going to feel. I know that seems like common sense, but common sense is not common knowledge. I have found working with people for 12 years, actually 13 years now, okay? So the more weight you put into this, the more that you're going to feel it, okay? Now, if it's too intense for you, all you have to do is support yourself more with your hands, your forearm, and your elbows pushing away from the ground. That's going to take away some of the intensity. Now, how many repetitions are we looking to do? We're looking to go up and down, remember that's one rep, five to 10 times. Start with five, okay? And then it's the speed. So I'm going as slow as I actually can, going from just above the knee to just below the pelvis, okay? Take your time with this. The key is not speed, the key is to do it right. Hopefully all of that makes sense. Let me know if it doesn't and enjoy this foam rolling experience. 